All right, folks, so we have some breakdown to do here on Politicon. If you don't know what Politicon is, uh, you know, there's all kinds of cons, you know, Comic-Con, uh, Kamehacon. There's a bunch of different conventions where basically a bunch of people who are fans of said, you know, uh, item or whatever go to a convention. So this is obviously a political convention. So people go, they do debates, they do panels, etc., etc., and the lineup the uh, sort of base lineup has been announced. So what that means is there are probably going to be more people who are added to this lineup, but currently as we're speaking, as we're recording this video right now, these are all the people that we know that are uh, heading over to Politicon in 2019. Now, in all Politicon's existence, every year they've hosted it in Los Angeles. Now, this year it's going to be a bit of a change. This year they're going to be having it in Nashville, Tennessee, so if you're on the East Coast or you're near Nashville, Tennessee, I really highly recommend going show out for the progressive host who are going to be there. Show your support uh, because that, you know, showing your support is obviously really huge when it comes to the crowds, etc., etc. So definitely make sure to head on over there and take advantage because who knows how long it's going to be uh, in Nashville and not in Los Angeles. So a couple things here, okay? First thing we're going to get into is... Kyle Kalinske, who Kyle Kalinske is going to be debating, okay? So, it has been revealed. Kyle Kalinske's 1v1 debate opponent has been revealed, all right? So, if we take a head over to his Twitter page, he had just sent out saying that he's going to be at the uh, this year's Politicon. And then if we go down here, he posted this image. And... <clears throat> it, of course, states Charlie Kirk versus Kyle Kalinske, Nashville, Tennessee, October 26 and 27. Now, I don't mean to toot my own horn or anything, but I did say, I did predict in my other video. If you go back and watch my video where I talked about Politicon just a couple, two, three days ago, I forgot even when it was, um, I literally said, you know what, I think Charlie Kirk's going to be the one to debate Kyle Kalinske, and I said that because I figured, you know, uh, Charlie Kirk, he's a doofus. But to his credit, at the very least, he's actually down to do these debates. Everyone else are a bunch of cowards, but Charlie's at least down to do it. And I figured they're probably going to align, and there you have it. They're actually debating. So, you know, not to toot my own horn or anything, but, you know, even though <clears throat> that's kind of what I'm doing. But Charlie Kirk is Kyle Kalinske's main debate opponent now, Kyle's going to be doing other stuff at Politicon. No one really does just one thing. Usually they do like two panels and a 1v1 debate. Or two or three panels on its own. Most Some people don't do a debate. Uh, so Kyle's probably going to do this debate plus like two or three panels. He's a pretty ambitious dude when he actually goes over to Politicon. So this is his opponent. I have to tell you my personal opinion on this debate. I'm not really that excited for it. Not really that hyped for it. Uh, Charlie Kirk, to me, is a really boring character. He doesn't interest me at all. Uh, he's also a sort of low-hanging fruit, low-tier dude. But, you know, you could be a low-hanging fruit, low-tier dude, and I could still be excited to watch the debate. And I'll, I'll get into that <laughs> in a second here uh, to talk about another debate that we're going to be looking at that's going down. But, you know, I personally, you guys may have different feelings about this, but... I'm not that hyped for this. You know, maybe it'll be somewhat interesting, but they've even got some common ground, too, so I don't see it being all that interesting. In fact, I think it's going to be a little bit boring. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. So, um, <clears throat> now when we talk about the other debate that's going on that's pretty darn major, if I do say so, uh, and from my opinion, we've actually got a pretty massive debate going here, okay? So this right here, and I was really shocked to see this, folks. It is Tommy Laren versus Anna Kasparian. So it says, Tommy Laren in conversation with Anna Kasparian, hosted by Clay Aiken. Now, I had no idea who Clay Aiken was, but my live stream chat told me it's some country singer. I don't listen to country music. I don't know who that is. Uh, but I don't know why a country singer is hosting this conversation. Whatever. It is what it is. But they're going to be having a conversation. This is going to be interesting. I'm actually really hyped for this. I'm excited to watch this because I think that it's going to be... It's going to be really entertaining. And Tommy Lahren's obviously a moron. 
but she definitely makes an entertaining product, and I think that it's going to be really entertaining to watch. Also, I found Anna Kasparian's debate with Ann Coulter a couple years back. I believe that was in 2017. Yeah, I believe summer summer 2017. Um, I found that debate to be pretty good. I thought it was actually kind of substantive. I thought they had a good back and forth, and I thought Anna really did a good job. So <laughs> I'm pretty hyped to watch this. This is going to be really uh, entertaining and dope to watch. So I'm really hype about this. And I have to tell you, I was very surprised that this was even happening. Especially because it seemed to be the case that Tommy Laird really didn't want to do any debates with any uh, lefties, you know. Um, Kyle Kalinske has said that he attempted to do a debate with Tommy Laird. That fell through. That apparently didn't happen. She wasn't down. But I have to <laughs> I have to tell you this, folks. I am far more hyped for this than I am for Charlie Kirk versus Kyle Klinsky. In fact, I'm not, I'm really not hyped for Charlie Kirk, Kyle Klinsky at all. This, on the other hand, I am very, very hyped for, for sure. I'm really excited to watch this. As of right now, this is the top of the list in terms of what I want to see uh, for a debate. So I was really, really uh, excited to see that. So that is pretty, uh, that is pretty awesome. Now, what we also will do here is look at the lineup. Uh, this 2019 Politicon lineup. So, again, just to repeat, this is not a finalized lineup, okay? There are going to be... <clears throat> there will be more people added to this. So, I guess the headliner of the event is Al Franken. So, I don't know why Al Franken is going there. They must really be paying him a good amount, too. Uh, because they do pay people... They pay different people different amounts of money. Um, obviously, depending on the stature and demand, etc., etc., but they probably paid him a good lump sum of cash. I don't know how much they could afford to pay him. But looks like Al Franken is headlining the Politicon event. Like, he's sort of the top guy. He was the first name in the list that they provided. But significant people going. Anna Kasparian is going. You know, Ann Coulter, although she's sort of an ancient loser. Uh, Ch Charlie Kirk is going. This guy's name is hilarious. This dude's parents really did him dirty. That's pretty messed up. So, David Pakman is indeed going. <clears throat> now, prior to this, I actually wasn't sure if he was going because he hadn't confirmed it. He also had cited some potential issues for scheduling. So, I was like, oh man, he might not be going. But, he is in the lineup. So, 100% David Pakman is attending. Now, is David Pakman going to be able to secure a 1v1 debate? I don't know. I direly hope so. And I have a couple of ideas as to who he could debate. Really, I kind of have one. But we'll get to that as we go through this sort of list here. Um, any other people who are of interest here? You know, uh, <laughs> a lot of these people I don't know. Obviously, Kyle's going. Uh, Daily Wire Third Stringer's going. This D-bag is probably going to be in some panel with Kyle Klinsky. Uh He was in that How Do We Get Along panel last year. He's really annoying, he's really sort of overbearing, and just, he just sucks. Uh, Roaming Millennial will be going. I think that Roaming Millennial is a good prospect to be a uh, 1v1 debate with David Pakman. Now, obviously, we know who would come out <laughs> on top. Roaming Millennial couldn't, uh, you know, just use her logic out of a box. And David Pakman is obviously the exact opposite. But I think it would make for a really good debate to watch. I would find that extremely extremely entertaining sarah huckabee sanders is going as well for some reason uh, tommy laren is going jesse lee peterson is going so as of right now jank apparently isn't going as of right now it seems ben chapino is also apparently not going which is bad so again you just see a bunch of cowards now they're so scared they're not even coming now he could be added to this later on. As I keep explaining to you, this is the first sort of lineup. Okay, so there will be people added in here, and I will give you updates in videos if anybody significant sort of adds their name here. But if you recall, last year, Ben Shapiro didn't do a single debate. He didn't do any debates. He just did, like, some dumb uh, intro speech and then did a Q&A with, uh, you know, college kids, basically, is who it was. So, he didn't even do a debate last year. Now it looks like he's not even going to show up, which is pretty crazy. Because, you know, we all we all would have preferred a Kyle Kalinske versus Ben Shapiro debate. Doesn't look like we're getting that now, though, does it? Because it looks like he's not even coming. 
Jenk is also not coming, which is very interesting. Jenk is a pretty... He's been an integral part of Politicon for ever since it was in its existence. Ever since it was first put in its existence. He always was sort of the headliner. So last time around, the Jenk and Tucker Carlson debate was pretty big. The prior years, Ben Shapiro and Jenk Uger was really big. The Ann Coulter, Jenk Uger debates were also pretty big. So he's always been a pretty integral part of Politicon. So I'll be surprised if he doesn't go... But I suspect he's going to be added into the lineup later on. I really don't see him not going. Um, I have trouble believing that he actually will not end up going. Ben Shapiro as well. You know, I'd be surprised if he doesn't end up going. Although, I don't know, he's become a little bit cowardly. I think he's trying to protect his brand, folks. I've been telling you guys, if a couple more debates go south for him, his career is going to take a massive hit. And it'll take like a really catastrophic hit. Because he's already taken a bunch of hits, uh, for example, from his BBC interview. So clearly the guy is uh, probably, he's probably worried about maintaining his brand is what I think is really going on here. But another notable uh, missing person from here is Sam Cedar. So, you know, I don't know if Sam is going to go. Someone said, someone commented saying that Sam basically said if he doesn't get a conservative that he wants, he's not going to go. I think the conservatives he wants are Rave Dubin and Steven Crowder. Um, <clears throat> now, I guess there's potential for him to do a debate with Ben Shapiro if he is somebody who is actually going to end up going. Now, of course, we don't know whether or not he's going to end up going. Ben Shapiro, that is. So I, I really don't know in that situation. That would be a really cool debate to watch. Steven Crowder is obviously too scared. Uh, Candace Owens is too scared. Notice how sh her face is not here. By the way, Jordan Peterson is also going to be going to this. I don't know why he's not placed in here. Um, but Jordan Peterson's also going to... Oh, he is over here. He's going to be going. He's obviously not going to do a debate. He's not a debater. He's gotten clapped pretty much every single debate he's done in his life. Uh, most notably, Matt Dillahunty, I would say. Uh, he's probably just going to do some book signing. And they're paying... <laughs> they got to be paying him a fat stack of cash. Because Jordan Peterson's charge... His fee for, you know, speaking gigs is very high, if you don't know. So, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you hyped for the Charlie Kirk-Kyle Klinsky debate? I'm not. Are you hyped for Tommy Lahren versus Anna Kasparian? I definitely am. Which one are you more excited for? Who should David Pakman debate? And who should Sam Cedar debate? <clears throat> let me know about that down below. Very, very curious to hear your thoughts. And I will keep you updated on any changes to the lineup uh, for Politicon, which are, of course, inevitable to happen.